Hello everyone, welcome to this Calversal YouTube special, welcome back to the channel. I was sent for some testing and evaluation, a, you know, by, uh, Fiat, uh, you know, one of their, uh, one inch red dots, or micro red dot, I guess as they refer to it, and it came with a riser, you know, to be used primarily on a, uh, AR platform. Something I need to I need to get my AR out and take the scope off of it and throw this on and test that a little bit. All in all, it seems like it's made pretty well. For, you know, uh, the materials of it seem pretty solid. You know, a nice you know, uh, machined aluminum uh, base, rubber caps. You know, for covering the lenses. It does have. Uh, there you go. There's the back of it. That's for windage and elevation knobs, so you can you now so you can adjust it, and eleven different brightness settings. Now, it does. You know what? In order to turn it off, you do have to come all the way back around to zero. There is no option for off between settings, so you can't. If you want to use it on say nine, you have to turn all the way to nine, and then all the way back again you know versus some that would have you know brightness off a brightness off a brightness off like say zero would be off then one off two off three off this one doesn't have that you have to turn all the way back around to zero not a deal breaker for me you know it might be a good excuse to you know uh, to pick up a new upper for my AR is right the only one I've got right now is chambered in my 20 is my one chamber in 25 45 sharps and it's really a hand loader around I need to pick up something in 556 five, or 223 two, wild so I can have just a plinker upper uh, it comes with two of the coin type batteries you know the lithium CR 2032 batteries so I already have one in the in you know that I used to test now, I haven't shot it with it yet, but just standing outside with it being able to, you know, even in broad, you know, a bright sunny day, I can turn it up and you can still see the dot um, in full daylight. So, good indication. It comes with a screwdriver. Uh, haven't, I'm guessing that's probably to adjust the windage and elevation. I haven't pulled these off yet, so this is a first for all of us. Yeah, that screwdriver would be for, you know, for adjusting your windage and elevation knobs. So they are a capped knob, which is nice for out, you know, a gun that's going out, going a field. Uh, exposed turrets like a target turret, great for a bench, but easily gets bumped and can throw off your zero you know, if you're carrying a, a firearm around a lot. Has the you know, an Allen wrench for the uh, for the two mount screws uh, on the base or on the riser to go to your you know you know Picatinny rail, as well as the you know uh, screw, set screw that locks the sight down to the riser itself. So it's nice that it comes with the correct tools for you, You're not having to scrounge for them. As well as it comes with a uh, lens cloth, so you can keep your lens clean. All in all, seems well made. Not overly heavy, but not doesn't feel cheap either. Yeah, uh, I'll include a, a link in the description of this video to this site. If you know, I want to say it's a between thirty and thirty-five dollars. So, it's definitely on the budget side, but if it's the first one you know uh, that you're getting, that might be you know, appropriate for you. If you've got multiple rifles that you're wanting to have a, a, a red dot on each of them, that might be a good way to go. Rather than you know, because you can buy multiple of these for the same cost as one high-end version. This is a. Uh, trying to remember 
this is not a sub MOA site. I want to say this is like a two or a three MOA. Mm hmm. One second, see if I can see it real quick. Nah, it doesn't look like it says it in here. I think it says it on the uh, on the Amazon listing though. Yeah, it's uh. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's not the most interesting thing ever, but uh, range hundred meters or plus or minus. You know. So I guess that'd be a three M away because if it's you know uh, no, scratch that. All right, I'm I'm not sure exactly. I have to do some more reading on it, apparently, <laughs> but. Oh no, I think for a budget red dot, it's a good option for those that are looking for that. Now, if your your budget is high end and you only buy the best of the best, then it might not be the option for you. If you're you know uh, just getting by and you need to set up a basic get the job done setup, this might just well work for you. Alright everyone, I appreciate you stopping by the channel. Have a wonderful day. I'd like to thank everyone for stopping by the channel. If you want to see more of my content, I encourage you to check out you know, my website, calaveras32special.com. Links below in the description. I also encourage you to check out gunchannels.com. Online you know, two-way community, you know, set up and operated a couple years about five years ago at this point by G Webs or Mr. Gun Websites. You know he is a avid activist for you know our two way rights, so that's where I encourage you to stop by there. As well as his website, gearwebsites.com, where he you know is where his finance a lot of his financing comes from, you know, to help him you know fight for our rights. I hope you guys are you know uh, willing to stop by. You know both of those websites. Oh, and before I get on mine, I have my Spreadshirt store link and my Patreon link over there for anyone who is so inclined as to helping out the channel. Much appreciated. And anything I decide to, any money I get over there, I'll be putting back into the channel, and I'll be giving my patrons a chance to chime in as to what they think I should be using it on. I want to say again, thank you very much for stopping by. Have a wonderful night.